One. Do you like films? Yes, I enjoy watching films. When I want to relax or have some fun, I like to watch a movie. Two. What kinds of films do you like best? My favorite kinds of films are comedies. I like movies that can make me laugh. Three. How often do you watch films? If there is an interesting movie playing at the cinema, I'll go to see it. It's nice to go out to see a movie with my friends sometimes, and get to see it on a big screen. Four. Do you like to watch films alone or with your friends? I'd rather watch films with my friends. We always have a good time together, and afterwards we talk about the movie, whether we enjoyed it or not. Five. Do you prefer to watch films in the cinema or at home? I prefer to watch movies at the cinema because then you get to see the movie on a big screen with a better sound system. I think it makes the movie more impressive, you know. Dance. One. Do you like to dance? Yes, I like to dance because I really enjoy moving to the music. Two. What kind of dancing do Chinese people like? Chinese people like to do ballroom dancing, but outside on the street. Young people like to go to discos and dance techno and hip hop. Three, does China have any traditional dances? China has a lot of traditional dances. There are as many traditional dances in China as there are ethnic minorities. Four, is traditional dance still popular today in China? Yes, I think so. Many Chinese young people go to school in order to learn it. It's part of our culture. No, I don't think so. Nowadays, more people prefer modern music and dancing styles. Five. What kinds of dancing are popular with young people in China? Young people are interested in many forms of dancing here in China. We like to go to clubs and dance to hip hop. And techno music. Music. One. Do you like to listen to music? Yes, I do. I'll often listen to music on my MP4 when I'm traveling from place to place, or when I'm at home relaxing. Two. What kinds of music do you like? I like to listen to love songs, pop music, rock music, traditional Chinese music. Jazz, hip hop, Latin music. Three. What kinds of music are popular in China? Everybody has different tastes, but I think love songs and pop music are the most popular kinds of music in China. Older classics from America and Europe are pretty popular here too. Rap is also getting to be very popular as well. Four. Have you ever learned to play a musical instrument? Yes, when I was in school, I learned to play the violin, but I don't play it any more, and I think I've forgotten how. Five, is music an important subject at school in China? Unfortunately, music is not such a popular subject at school in China. Math and science are much more important in China, although maybe not so popular. Six. What benefits do children gain by studying music or learning to play a musical instrument? By learning how to play a musical instrument, children can learn many things. They can learn self-discipline, determination, and how to appreciate music better. Drawing and painting. One. Have you ever learned to draw? To tell you the truth, I never really had the time to learn to draw. I also really don't have the talent to spend my time drawing. Two, do you draw now? Yes, I sometimes like to draw. Not only is it a good form of relaxation, but I enjoy creating beautiful things and using my imagination. Even if I can't draw very well, I still enjoy it. Three. 
What do you think are some of the benefits of drawing for both children and adults? Both children and adults need to use their creativity. Drawing teaches people to look at the world differently, more carefully and thoroughly. It helps people relax and have fun, and it gives you a chance to use your imagination. Photography. One. Do you like to take photographs? Yes, I like to take photographs. It's great fun, and then afterwards you can always have the photos and remember the good times you've had. Two. When equals on what occasions do you take photos? Well, usually I take photos when I go out somewhere to a park or to the beach or to a party. When it's somebody's birthday, spring festival, at graduations, or any other important occasion, I take photos. Three. What kind of photos do you like to take? Mostly, I like to take pictures of nature or of beautiful scenery. Also, I like to take silly pictures with my friends. We always laugh a lot and have a good time. Four. Is photography a popular hobby in China? I think so. When Chinese people go out together, they often take photos of each other or of the places they visit. Five. Do Chinese people like to visit photographic exhibitions? You know that I don't really visit photographic exhibitions because they're a little hard to find here in China. There are some, but the content is really not so interesting. Collecting. One. Do you collect anything? Sure. I have a collection of postcards from different countries. Two. Why do you collect that, those things? I collect those things because they are interesting and rare. I like to go over my collection and see all the cool things I've got stored away. Three. Is collecting a popular pastime in China? It used to be, but not any more. Actually, it is a little hard to find things to collect, except for maybe pictures of Chairman Mao on flags or coffee mugs. Four. Do a lot of people in China collect things, and what do they collect? People in China really don't collect too many things. They are pretty busy with the daily run of things and don't have the time or the resources to collect things. Five. What are the benefits of collecting? Equals. Why do people like collecting? Well, people like to collect things mostly as a hobby, and hobbies are good to have because they help people to relax and get their minds off their jobs or problems they may have. One. Do you work or are you a student? Presently, I am a student. I have been studying at Beijing University for three years. I will graduate in one year. Two. What subject are you studying? I am studying accounting. Along with accounting, I am also majoring in business finance. Three. Why did you choose to study that? My father has a business, and I want to work with him. I plan to take over company finances. Four. Do you like your university? It's okay. I'm not thrilled with it, but I am getting the education that I wanted. Five. Is there anything you don't like about your studies? Basically, studying. Just joking. Some of my studies I just have to take for the credits, and that gets a little tedious sometimes. Six. Which subject do you like the most? I like math. For some reason, math comes easy to me. It could be because my father was a math teacher. Seven. Which subject do you think will be most useful to you after you leave university? I suppose my English class will be the most useful since I am planning on studying further in Australia. 
Probably ninety percent of what I've learned I will never use, though. Eight. Do you often get together with your classmates after classes? I get together with my classmates as much as I can after class. Getting together with them really helps to relieve the pressure for me. Nine. What was your favorite subject in high school? Well, I think my favorite subject in high school was art. One reason was I sat next to the prettiest girl in the class. Ten. Which school subject do you think is most useful for people in adult life? Any subject having to do with communication would be the most useful when you graduate from school. Geography is also a subject that is nice to know if you are going to travel. You would want to know what country you are in and which country is north and which is south. One. Whereabouts did you grow up? I grew up in Tianjin, a city that is southeast of Beijing. It is closer to the sea than Beijing, and is also a municipal city like Beijing. Two. Do you still live there? No, I haven't lived there for many years. I went to school here in Beijing and have simply settled here and made it my hometown. I still go back to Tianjin every once in a while. Three. What's the most famous place in your hometown? Well, there isn't much in Tianjin that is famous. Not like Beijing, where there are so many famous places. But the TV tower is where most people want to go when they come to Tianjin. Four. How has your hometown changed in recent years? I hardly even recognize it. It has changed so much. Just like most of China. Tianjin is changing rapidly at an alarming rate. Five. Where do you live now? I live in Beijing now. I am happy to be here because the city is really on the move, and there is a lot of excitement here because of the next Olympics. Six. What part of the city do you like best? I like the CBD the most because there are a lot of clubs there. And also a lot of hustle and bustle, and that is what I am into. I like to be where the crowds are, the same as most young people. Seven. Is there anything you don't like about this city? The springtime, when the winds from the Gobi Desert blow in and the sky turns a hazy orange, is one thing I don't like about Beijing. Another one of my least favorite things is having to fight rush hour traffic on the subway. Eight. Do you want to live in a big city or a small town? I just couldn't go back to living in a small town. I have gotten accustomed to life in the big city, and it would be hard to get me back to those country roads. One. Could you tell me what you do for a living? I work in the foreign trade department. I'm in sales. It is my job to bring foreign investors to the city to open up a business here. Two. What are your responsibilities at work? I have to develop a strategy for bringing foreign investment to Beijing. I work together with other departments to basically sell and promote Beijing as a good place to start a business. Three. What is the most interesting part of your work? The most interesting part of my work is meeting people from other countries. To me, people are very interesting, and I am keen on learning the customs and cultures of other countries. Four. Is there anything you don't like about your job? The pay is one thing that I don't like about my job. My boss is another thing that I don't like about my job. The distance to the office is the last thing that I don't like about my job. Five. Is your job very important to you? My job is very important to me. If I didn't have my job, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you, applying for a chance to go overseas. Six. Would you like to change your job? 
I don't want to get stuck at this job that I am working at now. I am still young, so I want to learn as much as I can, and then I plan on starting my own business. Seven. Do you often get together with your colleagues, workmates, after work? I do get together with my colleagues after work as much as I can. When I get together with them, we can shoot the breeze and have a few beers. I really look forward to getting together with them and count on it to make my week. Daily routine. One. What part of your day do you like best? My favorite part of the day is late afternoon, because the day's work is coming to an end. I can go home and I have the evening to look forward to, and the weather is generally pleasant and cool. Two. What is the busiest part of the day for you? From about ten o'clock to noon, that is when I have to take care of my work, and things are a bit hectic. Three. When do you have free time? I have free time during the evenings and on the weekends. I guess you could say that I have it pretty good, because a lot of people here in China don't have so much free time. Four. What's your favorite way to relax? I take a long hot shower and then I jump in bed with a good book and something to snack on. It's a little hard on my figure, but then it just means that I have to do a few more exercises the next morning. Five. Do you do things in your leisure time with friends or family? Mostly with my friends. I often go out to eat or go shopping with my friends, and sometimes we stay in and watch a movie or play games. Sometimes we just talk together. Six. Do you have any hobbies or interests? I love to read novels, go go karting, hiking, watch movies, and write. I have lots of different interests. Weekends. Seven. How do you usually spend the weekend? I sleep late and watch movies. I go out with my friends, or I work on different projects I haven't had time for during the week. Sometimes, if I'm really tired or stressed from the week, I will just stay in bed all weekend. Eight. Which do you prefer, Saturday or Sunday? Saturday, because I can go out in the evening and stay out late, and I don't have to worry about waking up early for work the next morning. Nine. Are weekends important to you? Very. It's some of the only time I can use for my hobbies or spend with my family. On the weekends, I feel free to do exactly what I want. Ten, should people be paid overtime for working at the weekend? Definitely, working overtime is extra, and it takes away the relaxation time so many people need. So people should be compensated for it. Shopping, eleven. Do you like shopping? No, I actually don't like shopping. I hate making decisions, and it irritates me to spend all that time looking for what I want. It irritates me even more if it's too expensive. On top of that, twelve. Are there many shops near where you live? Yes, but only small shops which sell all kinds of curious things. No big shopping malls. I think there is going to be a shopping center opening up soon near where I live, and that should be nice. Thirteen. Who usually does the shopping in your home? My mum does the shopping, and sometimes I go along too. Sometimes I have to go out and do the shopping, and I enjoy haggling with the vendors. I look forward to it. Fourteen. Do you have a regular time to go shopping? For some things, yes. For example, my mum goes food shopping twice a week, but I only go shopping for clothes when I feel like it. Fifteen. What things do you usually buy when you go shopping? I buy way too much jewelry and peculiar hats that I will never wear. 
and lots of scarves. It's hard for me to make decisions on what to buy when it's anything real big or costly. Sixteen. Do you prefer shopping in small shops or big supermarkets and department stores? I prefer shopping in small shops because you can find more unusual things and they come cheaper too. I like to get to know the owners, and sometimes they will cater to me a bit. One, what do you do in your holidays? For most holidays, I just stay home and rest and enjoy myself. But if it's a particularly long holiday, I like to travel. If I stay home, I can read and play computer games and do what I like to do. I can spend time with my friends, although often my relatives want me to visit them as well. So there is a lot to do. Two, do you think holidays are becoming more and more important? Not necessarily. Holidays have always been important to people, but of course, the harder your work, the more important your holiday becomes to you because you need that relaxation more. Three. Do you like to travel in your holidays or free time? If it's a long holiday, I love to travel, especially to places I have never been to before. It's an adventure, and you see so many great and beautiful and strange things. I really enjoy traveling because when you have a change of scenery and a change of environment for a while, it helps you to relax and is good for your health. Four. What kind of places do you like to travel to? I like to travel to exotic places, different countries, and places with beautiful natural scenery. However, I don't often have the opportunity to go to places like that, so instead, I like to go to places where I can enjoy myself with my friends and where there are fun things to do together. Five. Have you ever been to the seaside? Yes, I've had several vacations at the seaside. There is a beach not too far from where my family lives, so every time I go to visit my family, we spend a lot of time on the beach. Six. Why do some people take their holidays at the seaside? I guess they like to swim, lie on the sand, tan, and go sailing on the sea. Plus, there are usually a lot of nice restaurants near the seaside. And it is a good opportunity to enjoy fresh seafood. Seven. Do you want to live near the sea? No, I don't like the sea. It's so salty and deep, and there are all kinds of fish and other creatures swimming about in it. On the other hand, the air is often quite clean near the sea, and the weather very pleasant compared to farther inland. So, if I was concerned about my health. I would probably choose to live near the sea. One, what kind of housing accommodation do you live in? I live in an apartment building. My family owns two apartments right next to each other, and I live in the smaller apartment with my sister. My mother and father and my father's parents live in the other. Two. How do you like it? Oh, I like it very much. I live quite high up, and I have a wonderful view of the city. And it is very convenient to live near my parents, as my mum often cooks for us when we are very busy. Three. What kind of decorations does it, do the rooms, have? The apartment is very nicely furnished, though simple. We have a brand new living room set. A couch and two chairs, which my parents picked out. My sister and I picked out the curtains and lamps and knickknacks so that it has some kind of a Middle Eastern style. We decorated our own rooms with all the things we saved from growing up. Four. What kind of house or apartment do you want to live in? I want to live in a little house in the country. With two floors and a big attic and basement, and wide gardens and orchards around it, I would probably have to live in an apartment in town most of the time, and I would like my apartment to also have two floors. 
Five. Which is your favorite room in your home? My favorite room is my room because it has my bed and things in it, and a little window seat where you can sit in the sunshine and look outside. When I want to get away from everything for a while, I can escape to my room surrounded by the things I love that remind me of happy memories. And if I want to chill, I can play computer games whenever I want. Six. Which room does your family spend most of the time in? My family spends most of their time in the living room. We often watch DVDs together, or we just talk about our day. And if we have friends or relatives over, we will all go into the living room to sit and talk and eat some snacks. Seven. What would you say is the best thing about your home? My favorite thing about my home is the big terrace we have. It's a very pleasant place to sit in the warm weather. There is a secret door inside a closet that leads out onto the terrace, and we have a picnic table and chairs out there, so you can just go out there under the sky and read a book or look up into the clear blue sky. Eight. Would you like to move to another place? Not now, but eventually, yes. Because I think I would be bored to live in the same place for too long. I would miss my parents, so it would be hard to move away from home. But at the same time, I am anxious to have a life of my own. Plus, I think that living in a big city is very impersonal, and I would like to live in a different place. One. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is definitely soccer. I love the feeling of being out there on the field and just running with the wind. Two, why do you like it so much? In soccer, the rules are not too complicated, but it's very competitive and takes a lot of skill and talent to play well. I always have fun when I'm playing or watching it on TV. Three. What is the most popular sport in your country? I think it's basketball. Football also has always been the most popular sport in China. Badminton and ping pong are close behind. Four. Do you like to exercise daily? No, I don't. I'm awfully lazy. I know that I need to change this habit, or I'm afraid it is going to come back and bite me in the butt. Five. How much time do you spend exercising? Probably five or six hours a week. I know that I will not make the Olympics at that rate, but then again, sports is not my field. Six. What are the advantages of regular exercise? There's the obvious advantage that if you regularly exercise, you will stay stronger, more fit, and healthier. But you also get better sleep, and it helps calm your busy mind. Seven. Where do people in China usually exercise? Young people go to the gym or go to a playground and play basketball. Older people will just go outside their apartments and do tai chi. Eight. What forms of exercise are most popular in China? Badminton or ping pong are very popular here in China. Basketball and football are also very popular. Nine. Do you think primary school children should have sports classes at school? I certainly think so, because primary school children have a lot of energy, and if they must remain cooped up at a desk all day, they will not be able to concentrate because they will want to go out and play. Flowers. One. Do you like flowers? Yes, I like flowers. They're so beautiful and varied, and some have a wonderful scent too. The world would be a little more boring without their cute faces and lovely scents. Two. What is your favorite flower? My favorite flowers change with the kind of mood that I am in. If I am happy, I like carnations. If I feel romantic, I like roses. 
Three. What are the occasions when people send or receive flowers? Usually, people send flowers when it's a special occasion, such as when a friend has a birthday, or graduates from school, or has a new baby, or opens a new business, or gets promoted, or married. Four. What flowers have special meaning in China? You know, if you asked my mum, she could answer that question. She is a florist. I never really was that interested in which flower goes on which day. I think roses go to someone who is in love. Peony is kind of the national flower, and it represents prosperity and fortune. Birds. One. Are there many birds near your home? Yes, there are, but you usually can only hear them sing in the early morning. There are also a lot of sparrows flying around and pigeons on the roof on my apartment building. Two. How do you feel about birds? I think some birds can be beautiful, and I enjoy listening to their singing. They're so small and sweet. They really help me to leave this world a while as I look at them flying about so gracefully. Three. How do Chinese people feel about birds? Just go to a park, and you will see that Chinese people really like birds. They love to keep them as pets and fill their houses with them. Four. Do any birds have any particular significance in China? The phoenix, which although is mythological, is a bird that has particular significance in China. It is a sign of good fortune and blessing. Five. Do you think birds should be protected? Well, I think birds, like any other animal, need to be protected if they become an endangered species. They really have a hard time protecting themselves, and if they were gone, something special would be missing from life. Six. How can they be protected? We can protect birds by raising awareness about their situation. And by not buying endangered species or destroying their habitats, we also need to keep an eye on the environment, which is their habitat. Seven. Do Chinese people like raising, keeping pet birds? Yes, many people like to keep birds as pets. They like listening to the birds sing, and some birds can even be taught how to talk. Birds are great pets. They are so cute and sweet. Eight, is bird watching popular in China? If people have the time and the money, and can get to a location that has a lot of birds, then people will do it. But unfortunately, that is not the case here in China. Weather, one, what is the climate like in your hometown? I live in Chongqing, and the weather there is very wet in winter, and extremely hot in summer. The climate in my hometown is generally hot and sunny, hot and rainy, especially during the noon, very dry and dusty, cold and cloudy. Two, does it rain much here in Beijing? No, it doesn't, and that is getting to be a problem here. With the threat of drought conditions appearing on the horizon, we really need the rain. And sometimes I spend days just hoping the sky will pour down what we so desperately need. Three, do you like rainy days or sunny days? I like sunny days better than rainy days. Rainy days make me feel sad and make me feel like not going outside. Four. When, in what month season, does it rain most in your hometown? My hometown is Chongqing, and it rains mostly in summer. Buckets of rain at a time. It is really refreshing when it comes down, and the sound of the rain is magical. Five. Do you think rain is good? Of course, rain is good. Crops couldn't grow without it. And then we would all starve to death. Six. Does rain ever affect transportation in your hometown? 
If it rains very heavily, then there are often traffic jams because nobody wants to walk or ride bicycles. They all take taxis or cars, and this causes traffic jams. Seasons. One. Which season do you like best? Why? My favorite season is spring, because flowers begin to bloom and the weather starts to warm up. Two, what do people do in this season? In spring, because people have holidays, they often like to visit their hometowns or other beautiful places. Three, do you think the seasons have changed in recent years compared to the past? Nowadays, there are many changes in the seasons. Sometimes the summers are unusually hot, or the winters unusually warm. Or the rains come too early or too late. One. What kind of entertainment do you prefer, TV or radio? I definitely prefer to watch TV because then you not only get to hear but to see, and you remember the story better when there's a picture to go with it. Two. What programs do you like to watch, listen to? I like to watch different soap operas, and if it's a series, I never miss one. Three. How do you think TV, radio, broadcasts in China could be improved? It would be nice to have more variety in both TV and radio here in China. It is getting a lot better now, and looks to get even better. Four. Do you prefer TV news or news on the radio? I prefer news on the radio because then I am not distracted by the announcer and his or her presence. I like news on the radio also because of the fact that you can get it more often. On TV, it is limited to certain hours of the day. Five. Do you read newspapers? Yes, I like to read them very much. They are a source of information for me, and I can keep up with my favorite sports team through them. Six. Which section of the newspaper do you like to read? Why? My favorite sections of the newspaper are the sports section and the entertainment section. I like to keep up with personalities and what they are doing. Seven. Do you think the internet will replace newspapers one day? Yes, I definitely think so. I think that as more people have access to the internet and computers, paper will eventually become a thing of the past. It's quicker and easier to update web pages on the internet than to print a whole newspaper.